we're going to look at verses 2, 3 and 4. So we'll start with the second verse. And in this verse, it's the mother um, talking first. And she says, I've lived a long time, Mary, in this old house, my dear. So there is where you can put in the little bit of ornamentation in the word house. I've lived a long time, Mary, in this old house, my dear. Next line. But the wine to whistle like that, I never yet did hear. So those two lines together. I've lived a long time, Mary, in this old world, my dear. But the wine to whistle like that, I never yet did hear. So that's the mother speaking and then the daughter replies and she says, But mother, you know the fiddle hangs close beside the chink and the wind upon the strings is playing a tune, I think. So her, um, she's trying to cover up that her boyfriend is on the way, that it's the, the fiddle that's hanging on the wall and that the wind is coming in um, in the little gap in the door and that it's playing the tune on the fiddle. So let's try the third and fourth line again. But mother, you know the fiddle hangs close beside the chink and the wind upon the strings is playing the tune, I think. So feel free to rewind, re-listen and just get used to hearing where the ornamentations go. And once you're comfortable with that verse, try and sing the chorus as well as you're um, moving on. Okay, so we're going to move on to the third verse this time. So, uh, and again, it's the mother talking here. The dog is barking now. The fiddle can't play that tune. So again, the word play has a little bit of ornamentation. The dog is barking now. The fiddle can't play that tune. Play, play that tune. There's three kind of notes there that you're kind of rushing into each other. Uh, next line, it's the daughter speaking. But mother, you know they say, dogs bark when they see the moon. But mother, you know they say, dogs bark when they see the moon. Okay, next line. But how can he see the moon when he is old and blind? when he is old and blind. So the word old has a little bit of an ornamentation there. But how can he bark at the moon when he is old and blind? And then the last line. Blind dogs can't bark at the moon, you know, nor fiddles can play with the wind. Okay, so let's try that whole verse from beginning to end. The dog is barking now, the fiddle can't play that tune, but mother you know they say, dogs bark when they see the moon, but how can he bark at the moon, when he is old and blind, blind dogs can't bark at the moon you know, nor fiddles can play with the wind. So, Moving on to the fourth verse, and here is another, um, the mother can hear the pig, and again the daughter is trying to make up all these excuses so that her boyfriend can come up to the house without her mother noticing. So, the mother says, Oh, now I hear the pig, uneasy in his mind, but mother you know they say, that pigs can see the wind. So I'll do those two lines again, and you can hear the ornamentation. Oh, now I hear the pig, uneasy in his mind. But mother, you know they say, that pigs can see the wind. And then the mother replies, That's true enough by day, but then you may remark, that pigs no more than we can see anything in the dark. Those two lines again. That's true enough by day, but then you may remark that pigs no more than we can see anything in the dark. 
Okay, so we're going to leave it there for this lesson. Make sure you feel really comfortable with those three verses before we move on to the next lesson where we'll be finishing the song.